Howdy everybody, hope you're having a good Sunday today. Cole from Cole's Tractor Shed coming at you with a video about another interesting piece of equipment that I own. Picked this up eh, five or six months ago. This is a Brillin tractor driven rotary tiller. I believe it's for a tractor anywhere from 65 to 100 horsepower. And as you can see, this is an interesting piece of equipment because it's a rotary tiller that's got a treader hitch and wheels on it. And if you know anything about equipment, most tillers have a set of three-point hitches on them so that a tractor can pick it up with its three-point hitch system. But this one, I believe, is a factory-produced piece. And I've had some friends tell me that they've seen tillers that farmers have worked on to make them like this. But this, I believe, is factory because, <clears throat> for one, the metalwork is way too good on this. This is mandrel bent half-inch plate. I don't think a farmer would be able to do that. If a farmer did this, I'd imagine that it'd be pipe or something. And secondly, this gearbox here has bosses on it. And I'll go around this other side and show you for a second. It has bosses with bolt holes drilled into it to allow this frame to bolt to. Here's the other side right there. You can get a little better view of it. It's got a boss there with bolt holes on it to allow this hitch to connect to it. And then it's got this system over top of it with a three-point arm the, excuse me, the hydraulic cylinder point on it. There's a car in the distance. <laughs> the, th the hydraulic cylinder mount on it to allow you to pick it up and down with a hydraulic cylinder. Right now, it's just got a chain boomer on it. But this is all really professional looking. This is, as you can see, there's a little adjustment there for, I believe that may be depth. I'm not sure what those bolts are doing there for, but got this big system over top of this thing to raise and lower this thing. And it just looks way too good to be farmer engineered. So I believe this is a factory piece. Now, I've not been able to find much information on them. I've not been able to find any other pictures of something like this either. The only, any kind of literature or anything I found on this thing is what I, what appears to be a three-point uh, version of this. So I think this was a three-point or a treader drawn implement. So as you can see under here, I'll show you the bottom of it. It's got some nice big rotors under there with replaceable tines and that gearbox back there again drives the whole whole thing this is one of the older models of tiller which if you know new tillers have the gearbox on top of them and they've got a shaft that goes over and down and that drives the rotors underneath of it and that allows you to take a deeper depth of cut this one see down there the gearbox is going to limit how deep you can go because there's only a certain amount of depth that gearbox will go to. So that is what's going to limit that. And then it's also, you know, got the hallmarks of every old tiller. It's got a place where it's been busted in sheet metal and somebody's welded a piece of metal over top of it. And that's going to have to be replaced. And I've worked on that bent arm for the tailgate. It's just got one chain holding up over there. Something else interesting about this is that it's got a gear selector lever down there, if you can see that got it says low right there now that's it's in low range and it's also also got a neutral range i believe see if i can get it up there there we go that's neutral and then well that's a little too uh <laughs> a little too cold or something's blocking in there going up from high but that's neutral right there so uh, this is just a pretty neat piece of equipment uh let me show you on here where it says brillin it says brillin right here on the front you get a good look at that, Brillin Ironworks, Brillin, Wisconsin. And then on the back of the gearbox, it says Brillin again. This time it's their their logo, Brillin and Cursive. I don't know if you can see that very well. So this is a pretty interesting piece of equipment. I believe that the original colors of it, I believe the gearbox and the hitch were green, and the rest of it was orange, kind of like old case colors. or kind of like a, one of those Landall soil conditioners so i hope to have this running this summer i might even paint it I'm not for sure on that but first order of business is to get the gearbox open and see what's going on with it and then get new tires and get a new drive shaft for it so it's an interesting piece of equipment i have not seen much on them so if you've got any comments or suggestive criticisms or anything like that i'd appreciate to hear them in the comments this is Cole from Cole's Tractor Shed signing off. I'll see you next time.